What's going on everyone? So in today's video I wanted to address something that I haven't really seen addressed too well on YouTube or pretty much anywhere for that matter. So to keep this video quick I'm going to run through it pretty much as quick as I can. So the way I'm going to be structuring this video is pretty simple. I'm just going to say what I think the most important tips are first and just work my way down the list. That being said though, all of these tips are actually fairly important. So starting off with what I think is the most important part and that's the blast radius of these volcanoes. So, if you didn't know this, these volcanoes actually have a certain blast radius that they can actually shoot to. This blast radius does actually vary just slightly depending on the volcano that you're at. The average medium is around 1.5 blocks away. Now, it doesn't really matter how zoomed in you are on the map because the actual size of these blocks does not change. Now, when I say blocks, what I essentially mean is from the center of the volcano. You can't do it from the actual island itself, but actually do take it from the center of the volcano or where the hole is. So that's essentially to keep yourself 100% safe. Now, if you stay 1.5 blocks away, there's absolutely no chance you're going to get hit by anything from the volcano, but you can actually move in just a little bit to around a block away. The volcano does have a chance to hit you from that distance, but it is quite slim. I definitely suggest putting your boat one and a half blocks away. So moving on to the next tip that I find fairly essential, that's the timers of the volcanoes. Now these volcanoes actually do have randomly generated timers, although they can be triggered by people being on the island and also by other ships going around the island. With that being said, geysers can also lead to an explosion as well. The reason I say that is because if you have a lot of geysers going off in one spot, that can actually lead to an earthquake, and those earthquakes can actually lead to the volcano erupting. And this one isn't actually proven, but it's just been my experience, but it seems every time I do a pirate legend quest, these volcanoes have a tendency to go off every time I go to one. Whereas if I'm doing just another quest or just exploring for the sake of exploring, they don't actually go off as often. So moving on to the next tip. One thing you're desperately going to need while exploring the Devil's Roar is without a doubt a rowboat. Now these rocks that shoot out of the volcano do actually target your boat, but they can't target your rowboat. Although there is still a chance that these rocks can hit your rowboat, but it's nowhere near as likely as the chance of them hitting your rowboat as it is your main boat. So moving on. When you see smoke of a volcano, it's usually a good idea to leave, because most of the time when you see that smoke, it means the volcano is about to erupt. And assuming you don't actually have the chance to get away from that island, what I definitely suggest you do is get to a cave or somewhere that's undercover. Now with the time that it's going to take you to actually get to a cave, I definitely suggest looking for bananas in barrels because you're going to need them. Because there's so many dangers on any island when the volcanoes are going off, it's never too bad to be overprepared. Now, if you do plan on leaving your ship out somewhere away from the radius of the volcano, your ship can still be targeted by environmental dangers. So environmental dangers is essentially the megalodon and skeletons on islands. And my final best way to navigate through these volcanoes is quite simply by playing with a crew. Now, if you don't have a crew, what I'm going to suggest you do is go down to my description and have a look at the Discord link. In there, there's over a thousand people who just love Sea of Thieves and are willing to play. So if you go there, I'm fairly sure you should be able to find a crew within a couple hours, if not within a couple minutes. We have some really cool admins there, so if you see anyone with the yellow rank, feel free to say hi, because they all talk to me personally. So if you're down in the description and you want to know what I get up to when I'm not making videos, I've actually just recently dropped an EP preview sort of thing. So if you want to know the stuff that I do and the stuff I make and just what I really put a lot of my time into when I'm not making these videos, feel free to go check that out. It's around a minute long. If you do like electronic music and primarily dubstep, tell me what you think of this EP. It'll be coming out around Halloween and that'll be free. If not free, it'll be an extremely low price, but there's definitely going to be at least one or two songs on there that are free. And of course, if you like any of these songs, feel free to use them in any of your own products or creations or videos. Just make sure you credit me down on the bottom. You can either credit me through Cynical or through Avenged, which is my stage name. And if you do, do send it to me through Discord because I'm really keen to see what you guys get up to with it. So that being said, that's pretty much the entire video. I thank you guys for watching. We're on our way to 10K and it's absolutely insane. I don't know what we're doing but i love it and you guys are showing so much support and it's awesome so yeah that's pretty much it if you have enjoyed the video feel free to leave a like and subscribe or hitting that notification bell if not tell me what i can do to improve on anyway i'll see you all in the next video